Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm bringing you my mini shadow box. I know I've made one of these recently, um, probably last month, but I do really like them and I think they are so effective. Um, this time I've used the Beauty of the Earth DSP and the Beauty of Friendship stamp set. Um, but I've added some of the holiday rhinestones just to pick out some of the colour. Um, I think they work really well. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have to be all trees and hedges and things, does it really? Um, and inside, I'll show you my centimetre version that I made. Um, but yeah, it just has, you open it up, it's tied up with the ribbon, and inside is a little chocolate bar that I just think, I would love to receive one of those, I think they're fabulous. So, I'm going to show you how to make it, and it's really quite, it's quite simple. I love this DSP, and this pattern, I think, is just really pretty. Right, so DSP that is seven by seven inches or 19 and a half by 19 and a half centimeters. We're going to go score all our sides at half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two. So that will be one and a half, three, four and a half, and six centimeters. And you're going to do that on all four sides. So same again for this one. So four score lines on all four sides. It's probably the easier way to remember. Equal distance apart. Okay, once you've done all of the four, you then need to add two more score lines. So another one and a half inch, uh, sorry, one and a half centimetres or half an inch in on two sides. So this one, I scored my last score line at two. So at two and a half, I'm going to score down two lines. And then I'm going to come to this side where I have five. So I'm going to go to four, oops, four and a half and score down two. Okay, so you just have, let's see better there. So one, two, three, four score lines. And then we have this one that just goes down to the second. Flip it over so that the half score lines you've got are here. You want to do the same on the opposite side. So just score them down just like so. Okay, now be very careful when you're folding and burnishing this because I found that some of my paper started to try and tear and I think it was just because I was folding it, burnishing it maybe a little too hard. Um, so yeah, just try and be gentle with it. <laughs> and then, so we're just going around all four sides. Nice little fold. And it's quite amazing to think that you've got this huge piece of paper that's going to fold down to almost nothing. So once you've fold, folded and burnished all of those sides, you need to then come back and find those part score lines that are just here. And then what you need to do is to cut down those two, diagonally across to the next corner, and down one. And then you just cut all of that away. Okay, so I'll do the same on the opposite side. So cut down those two, diagonally across one square, and down again and then cut them away completely. So again I'm going to repeat that on this side. So down two, diagonally across one and down and cut it away. Last one and cut down. Okay, so you should then be left with this shape. And then all we need to do here is add some adhesive along all of these edge sections. So along that one and this one. Oops. And over the edge there and this one, and this one. 
So the ones that are straight edged, not the ones with these bits, the ones with the straight edge, you can go ahead and tuck in. So make sure those edges are right butted up to this edge here to create your first cube. Same on the other side, tuck them in, make sure they're straight, butted up, press them down. Okay, whoops, don't get these edges stuck. So for this bit now on the inside, on these diagonal cuts, you just want to add a little bit of adhesive. Tuck it in because you don't want it overhanging the edges. And then we do exactly the same. We tuck this in and under. Make sure it's flat against this part here. And then as we do it, we're also going to tuck these cubes in here and they will adhere to that angled part here that you have your adhesive. Oops. So I'm just going to do this one the same. Tuck that in. <laughs> Stick into my fingers. Tuck that piece in. Come on, come on. It should rather stick to me than where it needs to be. There we go. So that's that one. And then that just sticks there. Okay. And there is your super pretty frame. Pop your chocolate inside. And then we just make, need to make our cover. So you need a piece of cardstock that is 3 by 6 and 11 sixteenths or 7.5 by 16.9. We are then going to do either my easy way, that doesn't want to stick does it, um, either do my easy way which is to pop the square on and mark or I do have, that one doesn't want to stick, or I do have the measurements, where's my trimmer? So alternatively you can score at 3 and one sixteenth, seven and a half centimetres, and three and nine sixteenths, so five, oops, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, three and nine sixteenths, or 9.2 centimetres. So we'll just give those a fold. And a burnish and then this should sit nicely inside okay so white crinkled seam binding ribbon so I want a decent length of that then I'm adding adhesive down at the outsides and a strip in the centre because that is where my ribbon is going to adhere and then this is going to sit on top. Like so. Try not to squash your frame too much but obviously you can use your chocolate to press it down, rub the back. So there's that part done. Why is this not sticking? Let me just try and add a little bit more adhesive to this because it's just not playing ball at all is it right let's see if that wants to hold better okay so just need to decorate the front so you will need a piece of coloured cardstock this is Mary Mullo that is two and three quarters by two and three quarters or seven by seven centimeters and then I have a white layer that is two and a half by two and a half or six and a half by six and a half centimeters so I'm going to get my Mary Mello pad and my Beauty of Friendship stamp um, that lovely sentiment friendship refreshes the soul and the little paint splatters 
so my sentiment is going to go in the centre. I just need to, I think I need to spritz a bit more. Probably quite warm and I think it's probably dried. Okay, so that's that bit done. And then I have um, where are we? Old Olive for this paint splatter. I don't think that's very straight actually, is it? But hey ho, we're all good. So that's my Old Olive, and then I want my Knight of Navy. Just to add a couple more. I might just add another one just there. And that can then be adhered onto my coloured layer. And then on here, I'm going to add strip there for some ribbon and then I'm going to put my adhesive on the back of here which I'm going to put a bit of extra on just to hold that ribbon in place and that will sit on here. Now there is one last little thing that I haven't shown you before I put those gems on and that is just inside here I've put thank you where is it there it is on a piece of cardstock in my same colour so in Mary Mello gone really close to the edge with that bit And I'm just going to grab my trimmer and trim that down. And I, as I say, I'm literally going really close to the edge because I do want it to be really thin. And then I'm just going to take that edge off there. And then with a couple of glue dots, I think, because it's just a little bit narrow. one just there and then this actually sits just on the bottom of there so you open it up and you get a nice little sentiment too this is the fiddly part of trying to tie this up right, let's see how well this goes probably not too well but we'll try oh okay I'm quite pleased with that trim those because I don't want those quite so long add some of my lovely holiday gems which I as I say I think work so well with this so I'm going to pick some of the yellow ones so I think they work well Oops. and the blue ones and I think I'm going to be a little contraire and add green to these ones as well where should I go with that one just there and there we go that is my little mini shadow box thanks for joining me guys hope to see you all again soon Bye.